welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your weekly reading for the second week of October 2020. So that's from the 5th to the 11th of October. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time. To see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle. And this is the Gaia Oracle I'll be using to draw a couple of cards for you to start your reading off with. So let's see what words of wisdom the mysterious Oracle has for you, Libra, for the second week of October 2020. What messages are here for Libra? What does Libra need to know at this time? What messages are here for Libra? Messages for Libra. So let's just see what we can get if we fan the deck out. Let's take that one and one from that end. And let's see what you get. Gaia. Oh. <laughs> Wisdom, knowledge, spiritual understanding. Connecting with the divine energies that you believe in, depicted here as Gaia. To bring yourself wisdom, knowledge and deeper spiritual understanding. And you've got reflection. Perhaps this is done through reflection. Reflection, illusion, self-examination and distortion. What is being distorted? You need to have a, a good long look at um, what you feel is of importance to you now what is what's your what are your issues now it's time for reflection because there may be some degree of illusion you may be seeing things through a distorted view it's time to examine yourself and gain a deeper connection with your spiritual beings, your spiritual guides. So let's see what the rest of the reading shows. Let's see what's on the cards for Libra. For the second week of October 2020. Messages are here for Libra. What does Libra need to know at this time? So, oh, I'll draw the um, four card spread again for you. The first card depicts you, the second card reveals your challenges at this time. Oh, but the third card shows your advice from spirit and then the final card will depict your possible outcome at this time. And I'll put an underlining row of cards beneath it to act as clarification for you. So let's see, your first card <laughs> is the Wheel of Fortune. Second card, the Four of Cups. Let's move this down a bit. The third card is um, the Eight of Swords. And then finally, 
you have the Three of Pentacles as your possible outcome. Right, and clarifying cards are the King of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Page of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck is the Four of Swords. So this fits beautifully in with reflection because the whole idea of the Eight of Swords is that there is a sense of entrapment um, and a sense that there's no way out of a situation that's binding and difficult for you. However, um, it's a matter of seeing things from a different perspective. You're not seeing things as they are because there is a way out and there is a path to sanctuary, a, a path to a, a feeling more secure and stable. The figure is blindfolded there because that depicts her inability to see things as they are, to see things clearly. So this is like a delusionary imprisonment um, and that sort of fits in really well with your reflection card there. But where are you now? Things are changing around you. Outside forces are, are bringing a change in your luck. But you're still sitting beneath, you know, underlining that you've got problems, issues to solve. And this requires tapping into your intellect, into your wisdom to make, a, make important decisions using your logic, using your head rather than your heart. And once made, they need to be um, maintained. Then you need to make these decisions with decisiveness. And um, it may what may seem cold-heartedness, but it's really using logic rather than your than your um, heart. But certainly, things are changing around you bringing a change of fortune but you're struggling your issues at the moment your um, challenges um, actually making steady progress getting things going um, finding the time the energy to dedicate to a project to or perhaps to work it could even be to anything that's of important to you the pentacles usually suggest material matters such as work and um, projects things like that but it could it could pertain to love but it's something that you need to build up something that you're wanting to build up and you know I think it's like a, a problem getting on track getting back on the horse and making sh steady progress maintaining proper focus and dedication to a task at hand and, you know, in order to do that, may require some decision-making, some important decision-making, which might have to cut things out from your routine, from your life, in order to make progress. So there you have your, your issues, trying to make progress, trying to get ahead, get back on the horse, get back on track, and feel that you're getting somewhere, that you're making progress. And you may well be steeped in a, a sense of discontent. Certainly, you know, with the Four of Swords here as well, you, you, you depict it at a rest position at this time where you're not moving forward. The Eight of Swords also shows someone stagnant. But here you have um, your challenge is to rise above a sense of delusionment in order to be open to receive an offer, an offer coming your way, and it's in your outcome card as, cards as well. You know, there is your offer being presented to you, almost like a divine gift, and it's connected with this change. So around you there's change, your luck is changing, but are you in the frame of mind to receive it, to notice it, to accept it, and to move forward with it, to embrace this change? 
this change brings an offer, an opportunity. And um, your challenge is to be able to be open and positive enough in your outlook to notice that change and to take a seize upon it and work with it and help it bring about the se a better sense of, of progress. <clears throat> Your advice from spirit is here. You need to see, you know, there's something you're not focusing on, something important that you could miss if you um, are unable to change your perspective to some degree, to to look in a different direction, to find you know this is perhaps why you need this inner reflection the self-examination and um to find a, a new way of looking at things because around you your luck is changing circumstances are changing and they they could well be bringing in an opportunity for you which you could miss if you remain bound in a sense of delusion and um, discontent. Um, the Queen of Wands talks about stepping into your light, um, finding that drive, that sense of purpose, um, using to some degree your intellect, your not only your intellect, your intuition. The, the Queen of Wands is very intuitive and she has a strong sense of purpose, of drive, of sense of adventure. Um, she gets things done um, through this strong will. So, you know, you could say for your advice card is seeing things in a different way, stepping back from the way you're looking at things now, trying to use some self-examination, some time for reflection. And there you have that's also depicted in the Four of Swords, which is at the bottom of the deck. Um, use some time to reflection, take some time out from the... Um, busyness of your life and reflect and try and tap into um, your intuition to find a new way perhaps a lat you need lateral thinking to think outside the box um, find a new way of looking at things and you may see an opening an offer an option an opportunity to t that would sort of release all the sense of entrapment that you, you you're stuck in at the moment And move, you know, try and incite yourself to feel more positive because there is opportunity coming your way. Um, <clears throat> stepping, this is, you know, the Queen of Wands is about stepping into your light, so changing your perspective in order to step into your own light, in order to shine, in order to find that sense of purpose, that drive, that positivity, that sense of adventure that can really carry you forward. And perhaps this, you, know, it, it, you may need this um, a sense of adventure in order to take up this potential offer, this possibility. Because if you're able to do that, your outcome is good. Your outcome shows making progress, making that progress that you feel you're unable to make at the moment. This is an industrious card showing progress, um, committed work and um, concerted effort. And, you know, this is something that, that you may find you're supported in, connected to um, a new beginning, a new possibility on something that is inspires you in a creative way. And um, it could well be an offer. The page, you know, often talks about offers coming your way. So there's an opportunity for you to embark on a project or a new work environment, a new job for some of you. 
Um, and this is something that you can begin to make good progress with, and, and it's in collaboration, in help with help from others, with you know under advice and um, support. So it's you know the the reading depicts you in a bit of a slump, but at a time where things about you are changing, and if you're unable to rise up and find that gusto, that sense of adventure, that inspiration, that zest, um, you may well miss an opportunity which takes you on to new learning, on to making progress, and you know, that solves this challenge of this sense that you're not making progress, that you're not able to move forward. Um, you know, I get a sense, perhaps there's for some of you, there may be a degree of disillusionment and bitterness and battles. That, this makes me think that there's been, you've been fighting battles that, that you've been struggling with. And this depicts it's a time to step back from all the struggling, to lay down your arms, to rest, to recuperate, rejuvenate and heal, but also gain a new perspective use some quiet time for reflection in order to see opportunities that are coming your way now, opportunities that can see you working towards the goal um, that you have in mind. And the Gaia card, uh, she's here to show, you know, wisdom, knowledge and spiritual understanding can come your way. You're being guided, you're being protected, you're not forgotten, you're not alone in this time. So there you have it, Libra. Um, I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonated with you. And if so, please remember to hit the like, share and subscribe button and have yourself a good week. And don't give up. Things are changing around you. And God bless you till we meet again.